Wonderful, merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend, who would have thought that a lamb could rescue the souls of men? Oh, you rescue the souls of men. Water healer, spirits we long to embrace. You offer hope when our hearts have hopelessly lost our way. Oh, we hopelessly lost our way. praise you are the one we adore you give the healing and grace our hearts always hunger for oh our hearts always hunger for Welcome to this 11th lesson, uh, Waiting in the Crucible. As we are continuing to study in the Crucible with Christ, I would like to welcome all our viewers from all over the world and indeed City Center, uh, Harare City Center Church. Um, I'd like to uh, just pause for a moment. Uh, we lost uh, a loved one this week. Uh, we lost a member of uh, the Kumalo family, uh, Sister Moline Kumalo. We want to remember the family together with all our friends. Which we used to sing together in Lighters a long time ago. And she was one of the founding members together with myself. So we want to um, extend um, and that, that God can be visit us, all of us, as we prepare for his soon coming. But without taking much of your time, I'd like to welcome our panelists, uh, Pastor Laven Moyo, together with um, Professor... Um, blessing Nyauma. Um, I'd like to welcome you to this program, Waiting in the Crucible. Um, how was your week? Busy but fine. Busy but yes, fine? Busy but fine. Okay. Yes. You didn't hurt yourself while playing soccer? No, I did not. Actually, I was in the mountain to today. In the mountain? Yes. Last night I was playing five a side, and then this morning I was in the mountain. Mountain, playing soccer? No, 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 running. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Which mountain were you in this morning? No, I was not in any mountain. <laughs> How is your family? My family is okay. We are doing well. Oh, ready to go back to Germany? Yes, yes. Um, How do you say good morning in Germany? Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Good yeah. afternoon. Uh, guten uh, Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Yeah. And uh, good evening. Uh, guten Nacht. Guten Nacht. Okay. So we are not going to say Guten Morning. No Guten Tag. We are going to say Guten Continuous. <laughs> so that <laughs> so that we can be together. For the rest of us, we'll just say Mangwana. Yes. And uh, yeah, uh, we are also going to be looking at uh, a few uh, things as we're going to be preparing for our next uh, quarter lesson. I think all of us must be excited at what we are doing. Our Sabah School Superintendent, uh, the expert one, is preparing something wonderful. I hope that all of you are going to be tuning in. I won't tell you what it is right now. But without taking much of your attention, without taking much of your time, um, I'm going to ask Pastor Lavenmo just to pray for us. All right, shall we pray? Father in heaven, we thank you so much for another privilege that you've given us to study your word. It's always a joy, Father, to extract important lessons from your word. But the greater part is the application. Help us, Heavenly Father, that after we have learned about waiting in the crucible, may we indeed wait in our crucibles. As we have this lesson, bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Waiting in the crucible. Waiting. Yes. Communications direct. <laughs> <laughs> when did I become a communication director? <laughs> well, we don't know. <laughs> what is the meaning of the word wait? To be in a state of inactivity. Mm -hmm. Um, whilst waiting, whilst um, <laughs> I'm putting yeah. in waiting, whilst right. waiting for other things to happen, mm -hmm. so that what you're waiting for then happens. Oh, okay. So for me, waiting is not a state of sitting. Mm -hmm. It's a state of mental disposition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what's going through in your mind mm -hmm. whilst you are um, waiting for things to happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Waiting, is the, the definition of waiting, viewers, according to the professor that we brought to this table, the definition of waiting is to wait. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's what he said. Okay, it make, just makes it more difficult for ah, some of us. Ah, ah. Pastor, what, what did you, in, in rela relation to what um, we are learning about uh, the, f the children in this uh, experiment, what is the definition of waiting? Well, waiting is staying where you are while anticipating a future event. So there's a time, er, er, there's a time element to do it. You are anticipating something to happen in the future. Okay. So it's a current state. Okay. Uh, but uh, I, I want to add on to what the professor said. If you look at the word waiting, it's a present participle, mm -hmm. present continuous. Mm -hmm. yes, so it's, it's, it's in the here and now, mm -hmm. but there's always that anticipation mm -hmm. of something to, uh, to happen in, in the future. Mm -hmm. Without that anticipation, it's not we're waiting. Okay. But, but there is something that is introduced in the lesson here uh, on, on Saturday, which says um, uh, long-suffering. What is waiting to go, got to do with long-suffering? Again, the mental disposition that is in the anticipation, because there is that which you want, but there is here where you are, and there is something that is happening here. So what's happening here then says, before you get that, you have to, you have to long-suffer. So imagine Noah. Okay, uh, uh, God has given him a way to get out of this um, uh, flood mm -hmm. and they are in the ark. Mm -hmm. As they are in the ark, it's raining cats and dogs outside, yeah? And they don't know whether they are going to be saved because there's death outside, mm -hmm. but inside also the ark, they are, sh they are lions, mm -hmm. they are deadly animals mm -hmm. that um, if this thing is going to take long, uh, these animals are going to finish us. Yes, yes. We'll survive the water, but we won't survive these animals. So for the 40 days mm -hmm. and 40 nights, mm -hmm. it's a period of waiting in anticipation. There are many things that are happening in the head. You gave a very good example. Noah gives us two examples of how to wait. Okay? First one is the 120 years. 
where he was waiting for the rain to come. And the 40 days where he was waiting for the rain to subside. <laughs> uh? So can you just give us uh, some insights on the, this doof, t these two different uh, waitings uh, with, with, where one, there is an active body mm -hmm. and there's, when the other one, there is an active mind of rest. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at it, one is actively working to make sure that the wait that he is wait, anticipating mm -hmm. after 120 mm -hmm. days is going to be fulfilled. So how does he wait? He is building an ark, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whereas when the ark is built, he is waiting for the... So there is just the mind element in this one. Mm -hmm. Can you just please elaborate on those two waitings? You know, I, I, I love the concept of uh, 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 the mental disposition mm -hmm. uh, because the, the waiting is not premised by your circumstances, mm -hmm. but, but the waiting is premised on he who said wait. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so the understanding, what gels the two waitings mm -hmm. is that Noah is waiting on God. Mm -hmm. the, the, the circumstances do not inhibit his faith mm -hmm. or de determine his faith. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to imagine that, uh, you know, he's waiting for rain and it, it, it had never rained on the earth. Mm -hmm. And then after it, it rains, mm -hmm. he has to wait for, for the waters to subside and then for, uh, for the ark to, to be op opened. Mm -hmm. and, and within that waiting, at a human level, there can be uh, feelings of anxiety, mm -hmm. feelings of hopelessness mm -hmm. to say, ha, ah, I have to wait another 40 days. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it can cast a shadow of doubt on God. Mm -hmm. But if our waiting, uh, if no, 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 as waiting goes above the circumstances mm -hmm. to the one who makes him wait, mm -hmm. then it becomes easier. Okay. And, and uh, I, you brought up this up. Okay. <laughs> Take it up. No waits, the rain subsides, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then he sends. Uh, uh, the bed to go and check if everything is okay. Mm -hmm. And then the bed comes and says, no, everything is... Uh, the water is still rain. Mm -hmm. You still have to hang in there. Hey. So you have to mm -hmm. stay in there. Mm -hmm. The anxiety. Yes. Yes. And that waiting. Mm -hmm. But also the discipline mm -hmm. to still wait. Yeah. Which is precisely what we are trying to learn, talk about, isn't it? If, if, if just finish the lesson there in that word discipline mm -hmm. because you see as human beings we are literally creatures that are, are, are hardwired on achieving short-term goals mm -hmm. so so you want to drink water you want to eat this you want to eat this you want to write that so constantly as human beings mm -hmm. we have short-term goals that we want to achieve mm -hmm. but patience now says no 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 long term and as we get this long term, we become different. Yes, you want to say something? No, I, I really wanted to say something that one of the difficulties that we face as uh, just Christians and indeed Zimbabweans is the ability to wait. We always want the thing that has been destined to us mm -hmm. to happen today. Mm -hmm. so, and so we quickly want to, and the example that is given in the lesson on Saturday, depicts exactly where we are and with our mindset mm -hmm. that we want these results now mm -hmm. and we when we you know, don't get them we are so restless but when we get them so quickly mm -hmm. the result is not fulfilling mm -hmm. because it is not complete yeah. so right now we, there is this constant uh, uh, anxiety in our minds to say, oh, no, 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 these things must happen now. Mm -hmm. And yet, in the Bible, mm -hmm. nothing has happened now. Uh, yeah. Have you ever noticed that? Mm -hmm. yeah. There is no example where things have happened now. Things happen mm -hmm. over a period of time. time. Yes. Isn't that so? Things always happen over the, and the mental, the ability to discipline our minds mm -hmm. so that we go through the crucible mm -hmm. as it perfects us, ah. brings that element, isn't that so? Yeah. And you know, I was just going through 
some definitions of the meaning of the word weight. Mm -hmm. You rightfully you are right. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a transitive verb which says to stay in a place in expectation of. Yes. So when we are staying in a place in expectation of, then it means that there's something that we're expecting and hence we are waiting. <laughs> so we don't wait because we're not expecting something. We, and we, are, we know that it's going to come mm -hmm. and hence we have to wait. We're expecting something. Okay, the second one is an intransitive, intransitive verb is to remain stationary in, in readiness or expectation. Mm -hmm. So we're remaining stationary. Mm -hmm. So according to what you've just said, it might then mean that we are remaining stationary way in our minds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the mind is... And then... But the most interesting part, uh, Pastor Lavenmo, is that it says uh, it, to pause for a, another to catch up also. Okay. <laughs> I like that one. So you can, al you can also wait so that others might catch up. Ooh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But also to look forward. So you are waiting, stationary. Mm -hmm. You are waiting, looking forward expectant expectantly. Mm -hmm. You are also waiting for others to catch up. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you are ready and available. So you mustn't be, while you are waiting, you mustn't be then found not available and not ready. <laughs> <laughs> eh? mm -hmm. mm. But the other one which comes up, in, 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 uh, which you might also like, uh, Prof, mm -hmm. is to remain temporarily neglected or unrealized. So, so, so when we are waiting, <laughs> the supposition is that we are neglected mm -hmm. hmm? or unrealized. Mm -hmm. Now, I was just thinking, mm -hmm. when I was doing, doing, doing this, are there any moments, Pastor, that you can say, maybe if you've got something to a testimony or anything, mm -hmm. where you were waiting? Mm -hmm. Is there anything like that? Do you have any example like that in your life where you waited? Yes, mm -hmm. and I, I, I like the last example you've given, mm -hmm. um, where you are neglected, mm -hmm. you're not recognized, mm -hmm. Oh, I, I've heard that. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you go to a place you're invited. You, you come with this clout from your country um, that, look, um, I'm a speaker, I'm invited. Then you go to a new setting and they tell you, we don't know you. Mm -hmm. But you know uh, the, the gifting that, that God has put in you. Mm -hmm. They tell you, ah, no. Um, I remember one of the countries I went to, it was you, Uganda. They said, no, we'll just give you a Vespas. Mm -hmm just to see mm. uh, yeah, yeah. 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 whether you are worthy uh, yeah. for us to, to call you. Oh, okay. and, and that is the challenge because it even couples with last week's lesson, mm. that last day definition. Mm. Can we be meek while we are waiting? Mm. In fact, we are going to come to that in our lesson. <laughs> is there any moment where you have uh, waited? Oh, plenty. Mm. plenty. Um, one, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, when I was at Solusi mm. uh, at the university and, and, and I'd met Pamela, uh, my wife, and I asked her out while she were on campus. Mm. But this was the end of the semester, okay. right? So okay. we, we had to have one of these, okay. <laughs> I was expecting this one, okay. <laughs> okay. And, and then she had to leave. Right, and it was also at a time when I was going through a tough time. I just lost a brother, mm -hmm. so so I was waiting for the reply, and, and everyone has waited for the reply after, mm -hmm. and and the reply took forever, man. Mm -hmm. It took forever, mm -hmm. and and in that moment of saying, ah, maybe she might not be the right person. Oh, maybe I should just look for another person, and and then I'm calling. So so, what did you finally say? Because she said, wait, I'm, I'm thinking about it, mm -hmm. and 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 all men in our culture at one point in time. Mm -hmm have had to wait for the reply to say, is she going to say yes? Is she going to say no? You're trying to look at the actions. And I waited for three good months. Mm. And, then, and, and, yes. and, then when, and then when she calls to say, okay, I, I need to talk to her, like, okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. yes. That, 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 that. I, I had one experience when, um, in 2010, when in the, the, we were selling fuel, Sakunda was doing excellently well. And then Zimra came and shut our service stations because they said that we're not paying duties because there was a supposition that the prices were too low. 
And you know, for, and this had never happened. Mm -hmm. There had never been an instance where Zimra actually shut down someone's business. You know, because that's the very place where they're supposed to get the revenue to, mm -hmm. to collect and so on, right? So, and I had to wait for three weeks when all the service stations were shut down. And I couldn't understand. I could not understand it. Wow. Mm. And while I was, I couldn't understand it. I, I was so restless at the same time. Mm. And um, until the, the, I got to a point where I actually had to, it, initially I was praying, but I was not really praying, you know. Mm. But the, the, by the end of the three weeks, I was now praying. And, and I literally left everything in God's hands. Mm. Okay. And, um, from that weight, from that shutdown, Sakunda even became bigger. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you know, uh, the, the, the reward of waiting Amen. is always greater than this hurried approach that we mm. that we that we want to take and, and go through. Um, but obviously, we are we, we have been waiting here. I think there's a story that is spoken about about the four-year children who had, went, went to this experiment, mm -hmm. and obviously. The children who, 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 so they were promised two marshmallows yeah. mm -hmm. in, if they waited, okay, over a period of time. And then, and then, but the marshmallows were there and you could have one now, but you, you could have two after a period. And you know, the, the, the two, the people, the children that waited to get the two after a period of time, as they began, as the study continued, they then realized that those were more disciplined yes. and they had better results. Yes. Yes. But than those who hurriedly uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, went and, uh, and, and, and took the one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's what we are learning there. But anyway, without taking much of our time, let us look at God, the God of patience, the God of patience, Pastor Lavan Moyo. And we are looking at Romans chapter 15, 4 and 5. Yes, um, uh, Romans 15, 4 and 5, for whatever things were written before, were written for our learning, that we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now may the God of patience and comfort grant you to be like-minded toward one another, according to Christ Jesus. Yeah. I think on this day, the element that the author is bringing out uh, is, the, is the element of pain in waiting. Mm -hmm. Because the major concept there is patience. And if, even if you take the word long suffering, mm -hmm. if you invert it, it's suffering long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay? Mm -hmm. su su suffering long. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but when we speak within the context of, of, of re redemptive history, mm -hmm. there's always a greater reward mm -hmm. for those who are patient. Mm -hmm. there, there, there's always the, the reward of eternal life. Mm -hmm. But that ability to go through the pain mm -hmm. and know that the pain is a currency for a greater inheritance. Mm -hmm. That's where the major challenge is. Mm -hmm. And here Paul speaks of the God of patience. Mm -hmm. And I want to suggest the God who is also patient mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah. When, when we are impatient definitely, with him, definitely, yeah. and the focus is on God, mm -hmm. not on the situation. Mm -hmm. okay. So if, if, if we could read beyond the, the, the immediate pain mm -hmm. and understand that it's for the greater benefit, number one, of having a stronger relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Then number two, of receiving the benefits mm -hmm. that, that come with being a child of God. Mm -hmm. wow. We would suffer long. We we'll would suffer long. Okay. 37 Psalms. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> you're going to say something. Uh, what, what shocks me on Romans chapter 15, 5 is that, um, and you find it throughout in the Bible, mm -hmm. that patience actually is never a human quality. Mm -hmm. That's why the element of discipline that you highlighted comes in. Mm -hmm. We have to discipline ourselves to then attain the divine attribute of patience. Okay. Mm. We, 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 a human being without God, you can't be patient. Mm. You, you can't be patient. When you look at this um, experiment they did, the, which they call the marshmallow test, mm -hmm. when you look at the kids who were able to successfully wait for the marshmallow, mm -hmm. when you look at the video, some of them were sitting on their hands, you know, some of them were looking aside, not looking at the marshmallow, because it's not human to be patient. Human beings wants to get it and then get the next thing. But mm -hmm. God is patient. And, and, and the question then is, he's patient with what? He's got all the time in his... In, in the whole world. Yeah. So why, why must God be patient? Because a day is like a thousand years, a thousand days is like a day. Why should he be patient? Mm. It's a divine attribute that must be seen in humanity. 
that we learn to become like God in being patient with God, with ourselves, with others. Mm. But the, and, and the most interesting thing that you have highlighted there and for our viewers is that when we are waiting, we are not waiting for the event. We are waiting or whatever we are waiting for. We are really waiting for God. Amen. We, are, we are waiting for God. Amen. We are not waiting for the men to say, the, for Pamela to say yes. We are waiting for God to speak to Pamela. Yeah, yes. To say yes. And he spoke to Pamela. And God speaks to Pamela <laughs> in a powerful way. way. We are always waiting for the wrong thing. We are waiting for the whatever thing that we have prayed for rather than waiting for God to come, to come and present himself to us in whatever way. So when we wait for him, he always shows up. When we wait for him, he always shows up. Amen. When we wait for that event to take place, mm -hmm. it will disappoint us. Um, I, I've seen a challenge with you, humanity. In, in MND, we have what are called indicators. Mm -hmm. um, indicators can be tangible things mm -hmm. which show us an abstract truth. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed, Elder, mm -hmm. that we then equate the blessings of God to tangibles. Mm -hmm. but, but the lesson is saying to us, mm -hmm. wait on the invisible God. Yes. Even when there are no visible tokens or indicators mm -hmm. which are telling you that God is working for you. And, and patience then comes in the ability to wait on the invisible God. Mm. Even when you have no empirical evidence around you mm. to prove that God is fighting for you. You know, you've said something fantastic here. When Jesus Christ comes to the lady at the well, he performs, no, when, when Jesus performs the miracle, mm -hmm. even though at the Bethesda, mm -hmm. he performs this miracle mm -hmm. to this individual. The person is well, is made well through the through this uh, miracle that has happened. He, he does not continue to perform that kind of miracle in this person's life going forward. We, we, we look at <laughs> we look at Paul. Uh, we look at Paul mm -hmm. when he was blinded mm -hmm. in the first instance. Mm -hmm. He does not continue to make Paul begin to be blind and see mm. continuous in his life. Mm. To the extent that at some point in his life, he had a thorn in his flesh yeah. of whatever nature. Mm. And, and he did not even take it out. Mm -hmm. But Paul was able to wait with that in his flesh. Mm. While there was an expectation of God to visit him, mm -hmm. to take it out, he, God kept it there. So, so there is always this, um, this that, that we have as, as Christians, wow. that we always want God to behave in a certain manner, which, which doesn't allow us to grow. Mm -hmm. The growth of Paul mm -hmm. is found in him being able to wait. Not in, the, in, not in him being able to be uh, made blind so that he can see. Mm -hmm. it, it is in his ability. When you look at Paul and say he has seen God, he sees God through the crucibles that he went through. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even speak about the miracle that happened in the first instance. Yes. He then speaks about the events that, that take place. But anyway, um, Psalm 37 verse 7 says, Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Mm -hmm. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Pastor, this is... <laughs> I, I saw this verse... And I said I wanted to spend a bit of time on it. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Mm -hmm. So there are two people, groups of people that I've spoken about in this verse. Mm -hmm. Pastor, uh, and I want you to comment on this. Mm -hmm. There are two people that are spoken of. Mm -hmm. there's, there's you mm -hmm. who is waiting, be, who is supposed to be still mm -hmm. and wait. Mm -hmm. And then there are others who are succeeding. Mm -hmm. So when you are looking, yeah? <laughs> when you are looking, you are seeing people succeeding and having success, yeah. but you are being asked to wait. Any comment on that? Wow. I'll add another element on that to say, one, you are then in a crisis of expectation. Mm -hmm. 
because you then realize that no God is not failing mm -hmm. because he's doing it in other people's lives mm -hmm. so so what's wrong with me in that he's not doing it for me mm -hmm. right and then there's another element that is coming in at the end uh, 37c there where there are also the wicked who are coming up with plans to destroy you. And you see that yeah, yeah, it's coming. Mm -hmm. And God is not stopping them. Mm -hmm. And you also have to wait. So I'm thinking the picture that comes to my mind is, um, I know you love this also, mm -hmm. the children of Israel out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, as they are coming out of Egypt, Pharaoh sends his best mm -hmm. to destroy them. Mm -hmm. And they go to Moses to say, were there no graves mm -hmm. in Egypt? Mm -hmm. and, and Moses goes to God to say, what do I do? And God says to Moses, wait mm. and see mm. the salvation of, but, but they're coming. Mm. These people are coming. Mm. Uh, their God is empowering them and they're coming for our lives. Why should I wait? And God then says uh, to Moses, uh, go forward. And then the miracle happens. So imagine in that moment, if I was there, I will say, no, I'm not going to wait for these people to come and destroy me. I would run. And if there had been anyone who had run outside the covering of the pillar of cloud, those were the ones who were going to be destroyed because when we refuse to be patient, we are taking ourselves outside the circle of protection from God yeah. mm. because we are impatient. Yeah. Mm. And, and, and you know, it, it, there are three things that I, I see that, and I want you to make comments on it uh, that we find in, the, in this, uh, this lesson on Sunday, which says that there are three, th three things maybe. The first one is that uh, from 27 or 14 of Psalms, we find that they strength, be strong and take heart and wait. Mm -hmm. So we must be strong. Okay. And then it says that uh, um, be still. That, that's that of, that of seven before and wait. So we are waiting because we are still. Mm -hmm. So there's strength, we are still. And that uh, we must be of patience mm -hmm. okay. and wait patiently. There must be patience. But not only that, we are going to be have face sufferings while we wait. Mm -hmm. That's what we find in Romans chapter 5, 3 to 5. Mm -hmm. That we are going to have sufferings. Mm -hmm. But all these characteristics, according to chapter 5 of Romans, they are going to bring out a character. Amen. Mm -hmm. So waiting, mm -hmm. the responsibility, the, the reason why we are waiting is so that we can be able to have character amen so may i suggest then i don't know what your comment is that mm -hmm. results without character are meaningless yes, yes. amen <laughs> ah, yeah, okay that's a results joke. without character yeah, no that's a joker uh, are meaningless yeah, that's a joker. <laughs> <laughs> because that's precisely <laughs> what the essence that when we want god to come and bless us mm -hmm. we also want to, him to bless us mm -hmm. in character not out of character. Mm. <laughs> well, I don't know what your comment. What, what more can can be said? <laughs> yeah, um, and and you you know one one thing that's interesting, especially when you look at the Psalms, mm. David is speaking from experience. Mm. Okay, he has waited on God, and I think we're going to speak about David later on. Mm. All these things, okay, are premised on wait, mm. and He will give you the desires of your heart. Mm. Be of good courage. And he will give you the desires of your heart. And I, and I totally agree with you. So even our translation into heaven, mm -hmm. it can't take place mm -hmm. without a character transformation. Mm -hmm. Imagine a thief who goes to heaven without being transformed. Mm -hmm. When he sees the streets of gold, what yeah. is he thinking? Ah. Yeah, that's all of us, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> will I even wait for you? I want, I want to dig it up. Eh? I just said a flash there. And it's right on the money that the, 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 the crucible mm. has to bring character out of us. Mm. And, and, and if we get out of the crucible without character, what does God do? Mm. He then also becomes patient with us. Mm. He sends another one. Mm. He sends another one. Mm. Because God is patient with us. Mm. And he wants us to learn so that when the blessing comes, as you said, it finds us in character. And hence, when the blessing comes and finds us in character, mm -hmm. the blessing does not become a source of our destruction. And Jesus then says, what does it profit for a man to gain the whole world mm -hmm. and yet lose his own soul? You know 
flash <laughs> thank you lord we were learning yes. about uh, hannah mm -hmm. she was waiting for a child thank you lord she was waiting for a child mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. she was waiting for a child she was seeing the other the other having children yes. she was struggling yes. why am i not having a child mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. when she gets the blessing mm -hmm. what does she do with it she gives it back. Yeah. Anyway, Amen. <laughs> Amen. See, it, it is, this is interesting. Um, you, are, you are even bordering on stewardship. Wow. Because can we get to a point where I'll, I'll give it back to God? Because for me, it, it, it is amazing Amen. that even on Samson, mm -hmm. huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when Samson comes into being, mm -hmm. you just give him back to God. So the ability of ah. the blessing when it oh, comes yes. is that when we, God must then, we must be then found in character mm -hmm. so that we can be able to give it back to him because it is his. Amen. To service his work. Amen. So, Amen. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna, <laughs> are we also then suggesting mm. That even the crucible itself is a blessing. But, but why is, is, isn't it not? Because it is teaching us mm -hmm. that when the blessing, the actual blessing that we are waiting for comes, mm -hmm. we then remember that it is not ours. But it is for a specific work. Amen. It is for a work. Yes, sir. It is for a work. Yeah. It is, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> in God's time, I, very quickly on, on in God's time, Pastor Nyaoma, <laughs> what is your oh. thoughts on that? Because we are in a moment where we are waiting on God, uh, there is a crisis of expectation. Mm. And, 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 and I liked when you highlighted earlier that uh, one of the challenges that you find in Zimbabwe that characterizes us as Zimbabweans is we are not patient. Mm. Uh, when things happen, we are in a crisis of expectation. So one person can actually say the greatest crisis that you find in our country right now, it's not unemployment, it's a crisis of expectation mm -hmm. we want things to happen quickly mm -hmm. but that is also the 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 the, the crisis of humanity mm -hmm. that we we are always expecting and then, and and when we are expecting is as if we sit down with god and said okay god we want you to do this i want to to make sure that uh, i get married on the 17th of january in 2023 and and then we have a child by december and then we agree so when that time comes we are impatient with god mm -hmm. But we don't sit with God and God gives us the timelines. Mm. So when we are waiting for God, we are waiting for his timeline to appear. Mm. And when the timeline arrives, when the fullness of time had come, mm. God sent forth wow. his son. Mm. So the timeline, what determines things to happen? Mm. is not even our, our crisis. That, that's, and, and that's what the lesson is t telling us, isn't it? Mm. And what are your thoughts? That it, it, it's always God's time. Mm -hmm. Because God's time... Is, is God's time. Amen. I, I can't even say it's the best time yeah. because best is never better than God. Yes. So wow. <laughs> God's time is always God's time, isn't it? Uh, C.D. Brooks, uh, one of his sermons says, we can't and therefore we think God, God can't. Mm -hmm. we, we want to put God in a cube, cubicle of time mm -hmm. and then we, we then determine his abilities mm -hmm. according to the cubicle that we have put him in. Mm -hmm. So when God doesn't come through when we want him to come through, mm -hmm. In our humanity, we strip him of his divinity. Mm -hmm. And yet he's way beyond that. Mm -hmm. And I agree 100% with the professor that in the fullness of time, mm -hmm. God sent his In the fullness. Mm -hmm. so, so the fullness of time will come. Mm -hmm. But what we need to do is to wait on God mm -hmm. for him to fulfill his fullness of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you see, what gave us the New Testament is impatience. The whole New Testament, we get it because the disciples were impatient. The first book to be written in the New Testament is First Thessalonians. Mm -hmm. And what is it dealing with? It is dealing with the delayed parousia. It's dealing with the delayed coming of Christ. Because all of those brothers mm -hmm. believed that Christ would come in their time. Okay. Even when Paul is writing in First Thessalonians, he says, we were alive. Yes. The, those guys were not thinking about us. Mm. They were thinking, he has to come now. We are the last generation. Mm. So it is out of this delayed coming of Christ that the New Testament is written. The people who walked with Christ, 
the people who uh, uh, ministered with Christ are dead, which we call the, the death of the living witnesses. And people are saying, now oh, Peter and all of them are dead. Do you think he's going to come? And people are saying, oh, no, no, we don't think he's going to come. And within the matrix of the delayed parousia, God is saying, I'm not going to come because uh, of your impatience. We need to wait for Pastor Laven. We need to wait for Elder Tagure to also come so that they may be saved because it's on my time. So the, the, then the, the, the definition of waiting, mm -hmm. others to catch up. Whew. Yeah. That's right. Eh? Others to catch up. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's right. There is also that aspect of yeah. others to catch up. To catch and up. this is one of the things that we struggle with as Christians. Mm -hmm. Is that we always believe that when we are there, then, then it's okay. Wow. We don't, there is no, we, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know who, I think it's Ellen White, I'm not sure always. When, when Christ is coming, they have to, they have to put um, smoke into the most holy for him to get out. Mm -hmm. Because he's still thinking there's another that can be saved. Wow. As Christians, mm -hmm. we must always be thinking there must be another to be saved. There must be another to be saved. Yes. But we always are saying, no, no, no. Now, Lord. Hmm? Wow. It, when we are at church, Pastor, mm -hmm. yeah? when you look at us in church there, mm -hmm. when you are looking at those outside, we're like, hey, those stay there. You know, we, mm -hmm. we are enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but God's time suggests that we have to go and take those to be part of us. I don't know, that's, that's my thought on, on God's time. And, and I can go pastoral here, sorry Pastor Moyo, to take this one. Mm. Even in, in weaknesses, mm. in areas where we have overcome, mm. we want everyone else to overcome. Mm. Because I, I, I was able to overcome this, everyone else must not have a weakness in this area, mm. because I don't have. Mm. So we are not waiting for others that Christ may work in them so that they also mm. get to this place that we are all in. Can I make like, your life more difficult? That's even the reason why, Pastor, mm -hmm. we rank commandments. Yes. <laughs> we rank them with, with, with based on the ones that we have overcome. overcome. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Neglecting those that we haven't. <laughs> so if we, have, if, we, if we have overcome on killing, yeah. mm -hmm. we then think that uh, false witness, yeah. false witness is uh, God must accept this one. Yeah. Yeah. Can, I, can, can I read? You know when you were saying that uh, Pastor Nyawuma and Elder, a verse came into my mind, Hebrews 11, verse 39 and 40. Mm. And all these, having obtained a good testimony through faith, mm. did not receive the promise. Mm. Verse 40, God having provided something better for us, mm. that they should not be made perfect apart from us. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Mm. wow. You know, <laughs> that, that verse, Pastor, mm -hmm. Uh, they without us mm -hmm. should not be made perfect. I don't know what, ve what version you are reading. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. If I'm here reading Hebrews, if I don't read that verse, yes, I have not read it. Wow. They without us cannot be made perfect. Yeah. Without, without us. Cannot be made uh, 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 perfect. Uh, uh, uh. So their perfection is incomplete without, without our perfection. Amen. No, not yeah. just without us. <laughs> without, our, without our perfection. Wow. And our and oh, our perfection yeah. is not complete without them. Okay. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> David, an object lesson. I'm, I think I'm coming to you, Pastor. Mm -hmm. uh, an object in waiting. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a, a difficult subject to learn. When you look at the sins that David committed, and then you talk about him as a man after God's heart. What are the attributes mm -hmm. that God sees in David mm -hmm. that causes him to say mm -hmm. he's a man of, after my own heart? Oh, yeah. Yeah. May I suggest to you yes, that we are looking at one of them? Mm -hmm. I don't know, what is your thoughts? Definitely. We are looking at one of them because look at him when, uh, when uh, the prophet comes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And uh, the brothers are now being tried to be ordained. Mm. And he's not even there. Okay. He's not even there. And the prophet says, oh, are these all your sons? Mm. And when he's brought, mm. oh, he's ordained mm. to be the king. Mm -hmm. And from the moment of being ordained to be the king, you are the king. But what does he do? He's sent back again mm. to the sheep. Mm. That's, 
has a character quality that you, you are now the man but you leave the office to the guy who is going out hey because the moment god ordained Saul or david he was now the king he was now the king and you are saying Saul is no longer the what the king so david then has to wait he's not a king in waiting he's a waiting king mm. for a king who has been chucked out would you know how long did he have to wait from the time of his anointing to the time when he actually goes into, uh, becomes a king in Hebron? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it, it should be around maybe 10 or maybe 15 years or something. This one. When Saul then enters the cave, mm -hmm. remember David is already ordained. Mm -hmm. and, and the guys tell him, kill him, man. Mm -hmm. Because for, for you to be a king also, you must kill another king. Just kill him. Mm -hmm. And David says, no, 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 I cannot touch the anointed of the Lord. He's an anointed of the Lord who's saying, I can't touch the anointed of the Lord. Mm -hmm. He could have used his anointing mm -hmm. to kill Saul. Mm -hmm. But he says, I can't. A king in power mm -hmm. is not going to kill a king out of power. <laughs> <coughs> and then God says to him, he's a man after my own heart. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's able to wait when everything is clear. It's yours. By how would you get? But he says, no, 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 no. This is very interesting, isn't it, Pastor, that yeah. when God has given it to you, the ability to say, no, it's not mine yet. Hey. Even though it's mine. It's even though it's mine. Hey. So it's, it's there, it's for you, mm. it's there. He has even given you the spear. He has even given the man. The book says he gave them a deep sleep. <laughs> so that yeah. they could actually physically walk. Now, you know, many people don't know who Abna is. Yeah. They actually yeah. think, uh, you know, Abna was just a... a no, 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 no. I, I mean, Paka ura ya anza, ni mningina wa wa Joab. Ndo pataka ziyo kuti murumo ya haiti. He's deadly, you know. Yeah. And, and this man was... And, because David also knew how dangerous he was. Mm -hmm. That's why he, he had to call him to speak to him and, up and say, look, my friend, we, I need those to have that negotiation without a fight. Yes. That's how powerful he was. Yes, 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 yes. So it, this must only have been God. Amen. That put him into that deep sleep. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so to be able to be put in a deep sleep mm -hmm. and for everyone else, the book says there were 3,000 of them. Mm -hmm. 3,000 mm -hmm. chasing after David. So it means that all of them, 3,000, were asleep. Fast asleep. Fast asleep. Yeah. And then David walks in, takes the spear, takes this, and then cuts a little bit. Past. Power under control. Mm. Yes. Meekness. Mm. Yes. A recognition of the reverence that David has towards God. The, him not slaying Saul was not about Saul. Mm. No. It was about his recognition of the anointing mm. on Saul. Mm. And, and, and to think that God had literally given it to him. Mm. And David chooses to wait. Mm. Because I then think if we look at it from that perspective, waiting in the crucible also becomes a choice. Mm. Amen. You choose to wait. Mm. Others choose not to. As the example given in the introduction, other children chose to eat. Others chose no, not to eat. Mm. You know, Pastor, I want to move very quickly on. David also recognized that Saul was not his enemy. Amen. Okay. Amen. <laughs> so when we are waiting, we must know who our enemy is. Because most probably the people that we are looking at mm -hmm. are not our enemy. And we are not in competition with them. So can we say, when David mm -hmm. is given these men by God whilst they are sleeping mm -hmm. in deep slumber, mm -hmm. it's not a test on Saul, it's a test on David mm -hmm. if he's going to have that divine attribute. Remember when Moses and God is saying, what should we do with the children of Israel? Mm -hmm. and, and remember, uh, someone cited, I don't know if it was yours, Pastor Mo, I cited that it was... Uh, a test to Moses. When God was saying, what shall we do? God was testing Moses. Mm. And when Moses said, no, we can't kill them. Yeah. And David has this test. Mm. 
in power mm. to then say, no, 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 no. God does not ca- keep a record of sins. Mm. No matter what Saul has done, mm. in an option time when I can kill him, mm. I'm going to preserve his life. In the moment of strength mm. is the moment when you have power and you don't use it. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, all right. <laughs> the problems of, uh, of rushing, Elijah. Hey, Elijah comes from Mount Carmel, anyway. victorious, mm. defeats prophets. Mm. If Baal is God, then worship him. If God is God, then mm. worship him. Mm. And one woman says, may the gods do so to me. Mm. If by tomorrow, this time, I've not done the same to you. Mm. And he leaves. And when you read the Bible, it actually says he... he he, he rushes, he runs away mm. until he gets to a space where God says, what are you doing here? Mm. And after such victories, we need to be mindful of rushing. Mm. Even though we have waited. Mm. You know, you remember that Elijah uh, says, I've preserved the, the, the proper prophets. Mm. I mean, oh, no, no, he says, I'm the only prophet who's left, mm. you know, and he has an encounter with, with, a, a, with Ahab. Even after those victories, mm. he rushes at the command of one woman, mm. at, at the threat of one woman. Mm. He rushes and go, goes to a place mm. where God says to him, what are you looking for here? So we, we run the, the risk of rushing after the victories. Mm. And, and you know, Pastor, mm-hmm. the most interesting thing about that is that it doesn't matter at what level you are. Mm in terms of your relationship with God, Mm. it's just one small thing Mm. that can cause you to be, to collapse. Mm -hmm. Eh? Mm -hmm. But the most interesting thing, and I want you to make comments on that, Mm -hmm. the most interesting thing is that when Elijah is rushing, Mm -hmm. he's running away, Mm -hmm. he's in this state of mind where he's all over the place. Mm -hmm. I love God. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. He visits him, says, hey, you are hungry, eat. eat. Then he says, mm-hmm. eat again. <laughs> because the way you are going to run from this point, <laughs> you won't find food. <laughs> For 40 days and 40 nights. <laughs> the way you are going to be running. <laughs> and then after running for 40, mm. for 40 days and 40 nights, he then says, God says, okay. What are you doing here? After painting. <laughs> he didn't come to him at that point where he was giving him food. It, that's how God is patient. And that's how he waits for that opportune time to speak to us. Mm. I don't know. What, what is your comment on that? So, ah, this is how God works with us. Mm. In that, whilst he's running away from impatience and from not trusting God, mm. he's running to learn the lessons that he's running away from. <laughs> Because as soon as he arrives, as God gives him food, mm. he sends food through ravens. Mm. So you don't want to be patient? Mm. So now you need to learn patience when ravens are giving you food. Oh. So even though you are not sure if the raven is going to come for the next meal, mm. but at least you say I have water. Mm. But what's happening to the water? The Bible says it's drying up. Mm. Uh-huh. When that was done, where does God send him? Mm. He sent him to a woman who came from the same tribe with Jezebel. Oh. To say, okay, now go to that woman. Yeah. It, 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 she can literally send you to Jezebel, yeah. but go there. Yeah. So that you may learn patience and that protection comes from God. When you run away from God, you are exposing yourself to things that will destroy you. Hey, you know, Pastor, you know, I, I, I think we're supposed to wind up now. But you know, the most interesting thing is that when he's being fed, <laughs> you know when he's being fed by reference? Uh, he doesn't even think, okay, why am I being fed with reference? <laughs> <laughs> we are always in this place of mind, you know? You, you, you should have said, hey, you know what? I'm being fed by reference. Uh-huh. Hmm? Okay, <laughs> this surely must be God. I mean, who sent this food here? Yeah. Hmm. And then he has to go into a cave. Yeah. And then when he gets there, that's when he lets. I mean, we, we become foolish. That's the point. That's the point. When we are not waiting. Amen. Amen. We become foolish. Yes. <laughs> and when we begin to think that all the problems that we come across, mm. God cannot handle them. 
Okay. Imagine the very God who had come down on Mount Carmel mm -hmm. is unable to quieten a voice of a woman. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's what Elijah was running away from. Exactly. It's very interesting. Anyway, Pastor, <laughs> can you just take us on chapter 37 on Thursday just to close up? I'm sorry. My brothers and sisters, we're going to take a little bit of time, maybe two, three minutes, and then we're going to close. Um, I, I think what, what I love about this one is Psalm 37, and on Thursday, it's learning to take delight in the Lord. I love the, 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 the idea there, learning to take delight, which means it's not a natural instinct, okay? And Psalm 37, do, uh, do, do not fret because of evil doers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. Verse 4, delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Mm. Delight yourself in the Lord. It brings us back to that very important element that while we are in the crucible, while we are waiting, mm. we need to rejoice in the Lord, mm. in the person of God, in, in his attributes, and, and he will fulfill the, the desires of our hearts. And that for, for me, uh, when you then look at the whole church chapter, uh, uh, verse 8, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Do, do not fret. It only co -co causes harm. Uh, if you look on, I think it's Wednesday, emotions like zeal, anger mm. can cause us mm. to, to lose focus on God. Mm. And, and then focus, uh, while we are waiting, we then focus on the circumstances. But the character building is the ability to focus on God, despite or in spite of our circumstances. And that is what it means to de delight in God. It's not comfortable. I'm not happy, but I will delight in the Lord. Okay. And, and comment for me, it's learning. Mm -hmm. You know, f you learned to write because there was a point where you didn't, were not able. When you started writing letters, R A E O U, it was a struggle because you are learning. And to delight in the Lord, it's a it's a learning process where sometimes the letters don't come out nicely. But we'll get there if we continue with the lessons. I like what verse 1 says of uh, uh, 37. Do not fret because of those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong. Yeah. For like grass, they will soon wither. Like gr green plants, they will soon die away. My brothers and sisters, what we look for, what we are looking at sideways, is not the real thing. Mm. It is going to wither and die away. Yeah. What God is preparing in you is going to stay there forever yeah. and ever. That's what we are learning from Psalms. And what we must be is to become patient with the Lord, to be strong in his faith and to persevere because we are going to conquer. I want to thank all of you for being for taking time to be with us and I hope that you, whatever we have learned today is going to be able to help us in our Christian journey. I'm going to ask Pastor Blessing to pray for us. Let's pray. Father God, we are thankful for teaching us to learn to wait upon you so that the words that you said in Isaiah, they thy wait upon the name of the Lord Amen. shall renew their strength. They will mount up with things as equal. They shall run, they shall not be wet. They shall walk and they shall not be faint. May, be, may this be fulfilled in our lives as we learn to wait upon you. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 There is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God. A place where sin cannot molest near to the Oh,
Jesus bless Redeemer Sent from the heart of God Hold us who wait before Thee Need to the heart of Oh